Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 Please like, share, and subscribe at the end or during the video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I've had a lot of people contacting me telling me that they really enjoy the content that I put up, that it really helps them out, and that I should add more content. So, uh, as I have time here and there, I'll continue to add content. I appreciate those kind words. So, I'll go over a few things with this amp, and then I'm going to get to work on fixing it. So, looks like someone replaced the original TR relay with the improper type, so I will put the proper one in there with the proper coil resistance. I'll clean all this up, put the proper components back in. Looks like he replaced the fil someone replaced the filter cap board at some point. So he wants a Harbach board put in, I'll put that in. Uh, one of the parasitic suppressor wires is broken, it was just hanging in there. I thought it was missing at first, but then I found it. So, I'll rewind two new parasitic suppressors. Replace the plate blocking cap, I always do that. And I will um, put all the new stuff in, and uh, it'll be good to go. That's my phone. So, uh, I will oil the fan, check that out for proper operation. I looked at the air variables, the plates look clean, the rotary switch contacts look clean. That's the first thing I always do. I will change the 33 ohm carbon comp resistors. These values shift over time. I'll put in new uh, 33 ohm 2 watt carbon comps. I have like hundreds of them. <laughs> um, I you know, pick a couple that are pretty dead nuts on to each other and uh, to, you know within tolerance. So. That'll take care of that. I changed the 200 puff cap between the grid and ground on both sides. I'll look everything else over. I compressed the socket uh, pan clips just a tiny bit. And I spray a little deoxid gold on them. And I slide the tube in and out a couple times. Here's the filter. This inhibits it from being able to work on the higher frequencies. Uh, looks like the seal may have been broken. I don't know if someone bypassed it or not or did what I'll find out when I go to try it. I'll clean the rotary switches with the deoxid gold and uh, check the SO239 connectors. Looks like he put a a light on the front and an indicator lamp to show when it's on or off. I don't know why but I'll also change the meter lamp bulb. So there'll be some other things I do but I'll cover whatever else I do in the next video when it's all completed. So these amplifiers, a lot of people don't know, is uh, they don't have a uh, the input and output rotaries don't have another position for 10 meters. So you can't even add it if you wanted to add it. It's it's lacking in this amplifier. So you're it's not anything. It's not about taking a screw out or anything to stop you to you know to allow you to get to that position on the rotary switch. It it's not present. It does not have the contact. It would have to. They'd have to be modified. So. So okay. Well, I'm gonna get to work, and I will be back when it's all completed. See you soon. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com Here's the second video for the SB201 repair. I still need to plug that hole up. Had like an LED. This thing was all messed up. I uh, showed a bunch in the other video. Um, couldn't find out also. I forgot if I uh, showed it in the other video or not, but I'll show it again. If I did, air variable is also shot. As you can see, the plates have arced a lot, so it's shot. I uh, ended up changing the meter movement. Someone else had one, sold me one for 75 bucks. I had to change the backing plate over. So I got that installed. There's the old one. Doesn't zero out. It's internally damaged. So 
Okay, so let's go over this thing. So I changed the filter cap board. I replaced the makeshift lamp they installed. Ran on 120. Got rid of that. Same with the lamp on the front I told you about. So I got a hold of uh, the factory bulb retainer receptacle assembly. So that was a used one. So I uh, lengthened the wires with some silver plated stranded center conductor Teflon wire, Teflon insulated wire, heat shrunk it, put a new bulb in it, installed it. So that's nice, nice. The old parasitic suppressors, the uh, lead was snapped on one of them. So I went ahead and rewound both of them and reinstalled. These are the old tubes. I ended up taking, I always take out the old cap, you know, the style cap, and I always put a new style in, so that's a new Hynergy Corp 1000 Puff. Clean the rotary switch on the output side, clean the rotary switch on the input side, and here's the newer, newer variable. So, this thing was a lot of work. I mean, people don't seem to realize exactly how much, but this thing was totally butchered up. So now, the new TR relay with the proper coil resistance. I changed, uh, took out, someone had swapped resistor values, and I um, put the proper resistor value values in back in um, the proper uh, resistance value and wattage value so those have been changed those are good put the soft key in place the high voltage cable for the B positive coming off the filter cap assembly as you can see it arced at some point so that's been changed. Clean the imp uh, clean this rotary also up here. Change the electrolytic, both electrolytics. Check the SO239 connectors. They're good to go. Oil the fan. It's good to go. So this thing was a lot of work. A lot of work. Came out nice though. Cabinet's a little beat up, but you could always get another cabinet. So, just uh, to let everybody know, I'm only working on multi band amplifiers. Heath gets Drake, Ameritron, Amp Supply, you know, multi-band ham amps. So, if you have something you need repaired, please feel free to call. I'll tell you how to ship it on over here safely. And, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. AmpRepairGuy.com is my website. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Hey, have a great day.